big points again. He plays them so well. of course for the expanded nine to three for Federer. Mm -hmm. Oh brilliant. What a different Federer today from the one who started yesterday. From the one that's been in attendance all week because he's continued to try that shot he's missed it over and over again but today as you will usually find on a Sunday Federer finding his range And the American has lost in his serve. He's annoyed with himself slapping his thigh there as Federer moves ahead. interesting that Roddick's talked a lot this week about trying to be proactive mm -hmm. but standing 10 feet behind the baseline when Federer's actually on it means that the Swiss is going to dominate the vast majority of the rallies from the back of the court silence Perfect set of tennis, really, from Federer, who did nothing wrong at all. 29 minutes, and he is ahead 6 3. Slightly short of a length, then Federer, when he's playing well, takes full advantage of it. Over 100 miles an hour, he was able to generate on that forehand. Possible to get back in play, as far as Roddick's concerned. Again, just about the first time he's come in early in the rally, and it was just enough to make Roddick miss. 2 1 Federer.
It's a much better option coming in off the first shot of the rally. But again, Federer came out with an unbelievable shot under extreme pressure here. And Roddick did exceptionally well, not only just to get the ball over the net, but to be able to fashion such a stunning winner. This is where the crowd plays their part. He's done it! Well, a quite magnificent game from Roddick there. Genius to pick shots like that. 30 all. Oh, wouldn't you just know that? The big points again, he plays them so well. And there's nothing Roddy could have done there. The serve was a, of a good enough quality. Federer there pushed wide of the single sideline, only just managing to get the ball over the net. But Roddy absolutely nowhere near it because he certainly wasn't expecting one as good as that. There has not been until today a vintage tournament for him. But now he is showing us all his repertoire of shots. And look at that. Would you believe it? Well, now we know why Roger Federer is the world number one. Ah, of course. It's <laughs> Hit back behind him after the serve. Fifteen long. Turns to the court. So, title number 22 in a row, the first here, and the eighth Master Series win in his career, Stamp Roger Federer as one of the truly great players. You know, it was a pretty good final. You had some looks. You had a, a break point chance in that first set. You broke in the second. It was shaping up to be something pretty good. Yeah, it was. <laughs> uh, and then Roger started being Roger again, yada, 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 super. <laughs> He um, does that on Sundays a lot, doesn't he? Um, no, but in, uh, in, in all seriousness, he's a great champion, and he, he carries himself even uh, even better off the court, which is a, re it's a real uh, credit to our sport, so congratulations. No, uh, it was great. I'm mean, a great, uh, great place to play tennis. Uh, it was a great fun against Andy. I always enjoy, especially playing in America against him. But he's really a fair, fair player, and I really enjoyed every time. Not, not just because I win. You know, you might have to play him again. 
in a couple of weeks uh, for the U.S. Open. I think they want you back. Ladies and gentlemen, your 2005 Western and Southern Financial Group Masters Champion, Roger Federer. Well, very nicely done. He is such a wonderful ornament at the top of our game.